Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Street Photography Shots Explained. So today, I'm going to go ahead and talk about two of my Street Photography Shots. And then on the second part of the video, I'm going to go ahead and talk about a shot that one of my friends ended up giving me permission to talk about. So I'll do that on the second part of the video. So for the first shot, it is called uh, Festival Fatigue. This one right here. So there have been uh, the last four shots that I've been uploading have been from the May Arts Festival, that Main Street Arts Festival that ended up happening in Fort Worth. So this is just uh, me adding to those shots uh, just because I ended up taking so many. I've been putting some of my story and everything. And just to add to that, this past weekend, I actually ended up wanting to take a little break from uploading videos and uploading photos and everything. So I just, you know, didn't upload anything over the weekend. But yeah, <laughs> anyways, uh, this is called Festival Fatigue, this shot right here. So what I wanted to capture here is obviously the main subject that's sitting so if you see that little track right there, they usually use those tracks at festivals to hide wires and everything that they want to uh, protect from people tripping on them and everything over it. So whenever I ended up seeing this person that if you see that building that's behind them, that's actually one of like, you know, the old buildings here in Fort Worth. So whenever I ended up seeing this person sitting down, I automatically thought about, OK, this is my main subject and I can go ahead and capture that building in the background as well, because that's, you know, that Western field in Fort Worth. So I'm going to go ahead and take this photo because it's like a perfect opportunity because they're actually just relaxing and, you know, they're uh, just in, I guess, a fatigue state because they are just sitting in the middle of the street. Even though you this the street was closed off, it's just it's kind of like a weird position, weird place to go ahead and sit down. So I found it interesting. So that's why I ended up capturing it. And the funny thing is that this whole time I had my uh, dog Reggie with me and I was walking him. And as soon as I walked him, and got close to her she actually ended up uh you know getting close to him saying hi you know trying to pet him and everything and uh for you guys that don't know my dog doesn't like to get pet by other people so he just like moves his head back and everything but it's just one of those moments like whenever i take these pictures and then i see them uh back again it reminds me of things that happened whenever i was there but yeah that's basically it's a very simple shot i just wanted to capture the festival this is just one section of the main street arts festival uh really close to that old building right there and i just wanted to capture the main subject along with the festival i mean along with the building in the background and uh, this is one of those examples where you can actually still take pictures in a harsh light this was a really really harsh light uh, type of environment yet i was able to bring up the shadows and everything so you can actually see the details of the person and i just brought down the exposure brought down the highlights as low as they would go and you know i ended up getting the shot anyways so this also shows you that even whenever it's times that people say that you shouldn't be taking pictures, you can still do it. You just have to know what you're doing, basically just experiment with it. And eventually, after taking so many shots, you will be able to edit your stuff on uh, Lightroom or whatever it is that you use. And you'll get better and better at it to the point where you're comfortable shooting in any condition. So, yeah, that's the shot right here. Festival fatigue. Now for the next shot, it is called Beautiful Self-Expressions. This shot right here. So for beautiful self-expressions, what I wanted to capture here and what automatically caught my attention, as again, this is another one of those shots that has like harsh light going into it. So what caught my attention from this like instantly was uh, that uh, beam of light cutting through the uh, canopy of uh, this tent right here. So from the last shot that you guys just saw, there's a whole bunch of tents and every single one of the tents under it is where the artist had their art displayed and everything. And this is just one of those instances where I'm walking by and I'm, you know, doing street photography like super fast. You know, I see something I like and I take a picture of it instantly. This is one of those moments. So I saw the ray of light highlighting the person that is the artist uh, showing off his work. And then, you know, the other person talking to him, basically asking him about his work or I don't really know exactly what the conversation is going on. But, you know, it's just that he seems excited that somebody's looking at his work and stuff like that. And it's just one of those like genuine moments. So again, what ended up catching my eye like right away was the fact that that beam of light was highlighting the artist, you know, just like this is uh, this is me showing my work and everything. It's just like it drew me in instantly. So that's why I ended up taking the shot. And then for this, what I ended up doing is I ended up bringing up the shadows a little bit, definitely bring down the highlights as slow as I could without for it to actually look good for my eye. I ended up bringing it as slow as I could. And then, you know, bring down the exposure a little bit and then bring up the shadows, especially uh, on the artist because it was a, a little bit way too overexposed. <laughs> but I ended up making it work. And I, that's why I ended up calling it beautiful self-expressions because, you know, 
uh, the art that he has there it's like a whole bunch of patterns and everything on all these like deer uh, skulls and stuff like that it's just a very very southern feel and considering that there's people that come from all over the United States to go to this arts festival and display their work I just found it a uh, really cool to see something you know of a feel in fort worth texas and everything that you know southern feel uh for art so yeah that's this shot right here <laughs> very easy to explain but what i'm excited about today uh is actually talking about one of my friends uh this is the profile that i'm going to go ahead and talk about today so why i want why i'm so excited to talk about this also is because we're actually planning to do uh, several days of street photography in london uh, this coming summer and i'm you know we're setting up an itinerary of places we want to go and you know just a whole bunch of awesome street photography we're going to be able to capture in london so i'm excited but yeah this is the profile that i'm going to go ahead and talk about today and uh, this is the actual shot i want to talk about today so you know as i am i'm a sucker for leading lines so as soon as i saw this and i saw the bus and all the leading lines going towards the bus i just it automatically caught my eye but one of the unique things that he has is that he ends up uh, like laying out like a very, uh, I could say like cinematic or very, you know, um, author uh, type of written word uh, for every one of his images. So I'm just going to go ahead and read it to you. I'm a, I'm a fast reader. I read it all the time, so it's not going to take too long <laughs> to read it. But uh, looking at this image, look at the image and then, you know, uh, just taking the words that I'm saying to like, get what he's trying to say uh with uh, this image so whenever he takes a picture he combines it with this and then it becomes a whole experience plus the music it's like a trifecta of experience that you get to see in his images so that's why i like his images so much and what they caught my attention uh from the very beginning so much because he's just like he draws you in with his uh word style with uh how he takes the photos and then you know uh, him using the basics as well as leading lines and your know, shadows and everything and it just it draw, draws you in instantly so i'm gonna go ahead and uh read it and uh i'll let you uh, look at the photo here so that you guys can get the full experience so it starts um under a churning sky that seems to twist reality itself the warsaw tram charges forth on gleaming tracks its headlight an unwavering sentinel in the opaque shroud of night the city's pulse thrums with urgency, echoing the tram's relentless cadence, while the slick rails shimmer with a spectral glow, hinting in arcane forces at play. This tram does not just traverse the city, it cuts through the very fabric of the ordinary, its cargo hidden from view, perhaps ages of clandestine plots or guardians of profound secrets. Imagine, then, the silent drama unfolding within its carriages, the quiet ballet of shadowy figures moving with purpose. What convert rendezvous or daring escapes are set against this backdrop of obscurity? Is this a tram, a mere conveyor on a predetermined route, or a chariot on a high-stakes chase through the veils of reality? As the tram hurtles into the unknown, it beckons you to question, what if tonight, the mundane commute transforms into an odyssey of the extraordinary, where the end of the line is the beginning of an enigma. So that's just, you know, it automatically draws you in. Like whenever you read this and you get the full experience of the music and everything. And uh, for example, the leading lines on this going towards the bus, it just, it draws a scene for you, especially whenever you take all the words in and whenever you read it. So I want you to go to his profile and really take in the paragraphs that he writes uh, for every one of his photos because it gives you a different experience from whenever you are an, on Instagram and you're scrolling by and you're just looking at photos, you know, we see so many great photos on a daily basis that we just, we look at them, we like them and we just keep going. But his are completely different because you get, you never get the full experience. Whenever you see his photos, you'll see that written under there and the description written under there. And then basically you just go there and you start reading it and you actually get the full experience of what he's trying to tell you. So it, he makes it really easy to, you know, for you to picture the scene and picture what he's actually trying to tell you that it just draws you in. You just, you know, you get lost in his art so that's what i really really like about his art so for this what i uh also really like is you know you can see the skyscrapers in the background it's backly lit but on the left hand side it's completely dark and then there's the leading lines from i'm guessing it had rained or something uh that day 
so you can see all the reflections and everything of the lights in the background you can see the two leading lines of the tram going towards the the tram i've been calling it a bus this whole time but it's actually a tram <laughs> yeah. i can't believe i just noticed the the actual see that's why you want to read these things because <laughs> i would have never really thought about it being a tram until i had read it but yes it's not a bus it's a tram a correction <laughs> but <laughs> you can see the two uh railroad uh not all well, the tracks going towards the tram and everything and it's just everything's reflecting and you know the high intensity of the light going towards you it's just it it all paints a whole scene that it just draws you in so that's why you want to get the full experience by reading it but yeah that's just one of the photos that he has he has multiple photos in warsaw and stuff like that but what I'm really excited for is going over there and we're actually talking about the itinerary of the stuff that we want to do in London and everything. And, you know, just uh, doing a whole bunch of street photography, walking miles and miles in his, uh, you know, version kilometers and kilometers, <laughs> trying to capture as much of the city as we can and just doing a whole bunch of street photography and creating memories together. So that's going to be awesome. But again, I'm sorry about that. Calling it a bus it's a tram. You know, me, American, you know, thinking buses are everywhere and we don't have trams over here besides San Francisco and places like that. But yeah, <laughs> it's a tram. <laughs> but again, thank you guys for tuning in. This is uh, my 47th episode of this and I'm super excited to be able to make videos like this and, you know, just talk to you guys again. I don't do this to get famous or anything. Uh, and I'm not going to ask you to subscribe or like the videos. You can do it, on, you know, if you want to. You just I'll leave it up to you. But I really appreciate all the support, guys. And again, uh, thank you for all the support. And I'll go ahead and catch you guys next time.